Oh, you got plans. You got plans. Don't say that. Shut your trap. I'm sipping wine. Sip, sip. And I'm rolling. I look too good. Look too good. To be alone. My house, house clean. My pool warm. Pool warm. Just shake. Smooth like a newborn. We should be dancing. Today, I'm going to do a quick review of the Smart Soup Pro 2 versus the Perception Neuron Soup. Now, just in case you don't know, these suits are utilized for animation, right? If you're looking at PlayStation games, some movies, you know, things like that that requires you to animate a character, you use suits like this. Now, there are other suits, right, made by Xsense. There's some suits even made by various other kinetic companies. But nevertheless, these tend to be the you know pretty much popular suits outside of the X sense of, as of course I should say. Um, with that being said, though, let's take a look at you know quick look at these two suits, and I'm going to give you my opinion on which one's better. I've been using these suits, inertia suits, for a very long time, for years actually, and that's outside of these two suits that I'm showing you now. I use other kinetic suits, other inertia suits, and um. I'm just showing you the two right here that I think that, you know, most people could afford. Now, there's other suits, like I mentioned before, like the Accents. That one cost me you know, like eight thousand plus. It's it's very expensive suit. And I'm talking about I'm talking about not just the suit itself, the gloves. I mean, it's very expensive. It really is. Um, and a lot of people could probably contest to that. But the suits that are more affordable, I think, are these two. The Roco here, by the way, costs twenty four. Twenty four is twenty five hundred dollars. Um, by the way, I got a discount on this. By the way, <laughs> right? And uh, this one here, this is like the beginner um one. You could say like a, a beginning type of animation suit. And this one didn't cost me that much. Maybe close to two thousand, something like that. But it's not as expensive. Now I will say that Perception Neuron they also sell the studio, and that one's a lot more expensive than this one. I will tell you that right now. And that one uses uh, wireless types of um, inertia type of sensors. And I'm going to tell you now, if we're talking about Perception Neural Studio, that one, not, not, not this one, it's made by the same company, I would say that the Roco Studio, longevity-wise, I would say this would be better, better off. Now, I'm talking about longevity. I'm not talking about quality. The reason why I say that is because the Perception Neural Studio requires batteries for each and individual sensor see as you can see here on the roco the sensors are wirelessly linked but guess what it's not outside like this it's all tailored inside the suit the advantage of this is that you only require one battery to actually make this work whereas the uh, perceptual neuron suit requires all of the sensors by the way it's over 17 sensors that needs to be charged up. And that's a little, to me, I find it a disadvantage because if the batteries die, if they get weak as years go on, what do you do? Do you sit there and spend another $50, $60 plus to buy new sensors? I mean, it's kind of, kind of, eh, I don't like that part, right? I kind of like the one battery supplying energy to all of the sensors. By the way, once again, that's for the Perception Neuron Studio version, not this version, the Studio version. So with that being said, as you can see with the perceptual neuron suit, it's this type of, this one I should say, is wired, right? Wired similar to this one, but this one here, you could just strap it onto your body and, you know, be going about your way. This one here, you got to put on like a regular outfit, you know, like you put on your clothes or something, or a jumpsuit. So when it comes to this one and this one, as far as putting it on, I would say this is better because it's less sliding. With this one here, when you jump around, you're moving around, doing you know kung fu and fighting, all that type of stuff, this starts to slide, right? This that's the problem with having it outside of the clothing is having it not tailored inside the suit. Is that what's going to happen is as you start moving around, it's going to start moving around. The sense is going to move around. Whereas this one here, being that it's clothed. You never have to worry about that. The sensors stay in place, which is actually beautiful. Now, another thing is the size of the sensor. Now, if you look at this casing here on a, a Roco Studio suit, you may say, wow, that sensor is very big, but it's really not. 
when um, if you open up the casing here, you'll find that the actual sensor is very, very small, similar to the size of the perception neuron, which is about this size. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, so it's about pretty, pretty small, very small, right? Okay, so nothing, nothing really there. But like, but here's the thing. I just want to make sure we clear with this. At the end of the day, to what really distinguishes these two suits is really not the sensor. The technology, as far as sensors are concerned, is pretty much the same. Yes, the accelerometers inside them, the, the specs are slightly different. Some of them have a, a 32G, some a 16G. I'm talking about the acceleration rate. This is true. However, when it really comes down to the quality of the sensors, they really much pretty much the same. It's really about, you know what it really is? I'm going to be straight honest with you. I don't care what these manufacturers tell you. Well, even if the x -Sense, which is, like I said before, a more expensive suit, it's really about the processing. It's really about the program capability of taking raw data and interpreting that data. That's the most important thing when it comes to both of these suits. So when you really buy, by the way, these are called inertia suits, right? Because the way they function is based on movement, right? Rather than, you know, they have suits that are optical, right? Meaning that they track light in order to see how, you know, your movement is done, being done. Some sensors now these days are using cameras that record the video, and then the AI interprets the data, right? So, but with these types of sensors, these inertia suits, I will say, personally, using these for now for years, it comes down to the software. It really do. If you got, if the manufacturer software is nice and tight i don't care if they were using this sensor or this sensor it's going to come out really really good so that's why i would say that the x sensor by the way i'm not showing it right here in front of us but the x sensor is probably the software i should say is is definitely excellent there's no question about that but the cost like i said before is like eight thousand dollars i'm talking about with the suit and the gloves Right, and then you guys still pay a monthly fee, which comes out to over two hundred something dollars. So that's for really professionals. You're in the business, you make a lot of money. If you're not in that, if you just start up or you don't have that much money in your business, you can still get great animation. Don't get me wrong; it just takes time to do cleanup. And the truth of the matter that most animation suits, you're going to need cleanup. I don't care if you're spending eight thousand dollars or twenty five thousand dollars on suits. Because they do have uh, suits that, you know, setups, I should say, that comes out to about 25 grand plus. But with that being said, like I said before, this is only $2,500, this suit, the Roco Studio uh, Smart Suit Pro 2, whereas this one is about 2000 So when you think about it, you know, it's a bargain. So let me just go further. Um, once again, the, the suit, this suit here, I used it for years, like I said before, it's very sturdy. You know, you could run around, jump up and down. It won't break the cables. I never had a problem with my cables at all. Never had these cables pull off, break, anything. They've been working with no problems. Um, another thing is that the Perception Neuron, this particular suit comes with gloves, right? And you can see here, it comes with gloves. Um, but I will say that the problems I had with this suit is that the sensors here... They get messed up really, really easy. They have to be calibrated over and over again. It's really um, susceptible to magnetic interference, and uh, it's really a headache. I don't. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about the perceptual neuron is that it's really, I should say, very sensitive to electric magnetic interference, and that's bad because what happens is when you have that situation, it's going to mess up your data, and then it becomes a lot more work to fix it. Compared to the Roco Studio, I would say the con here was that when I first bought the Roco Studio, by the way, once again, this is the Smart Suit Pro 2, is that the cable, I had to change the cable. And I will be doing updates on the Roco Studio Pro 2 and talk more about details. So make sure to check out those videos. But I had a problem with the cable, and uh, the cable, I had to change the cable. Now, don't get me wrong, the cable didn't break, nothing like that. But I think it was just... The manufacturing of one of the cables had to be changed. But the cable itself is very sturdy. It's got a metal hasp inside 
that keeps this from tugging and breaking, which is excellent. So it's not like you're going to tug on this and it's going to break. That's what I'm getting at. As you can see also, the cable is very thick, nice insulation around it. So it's built very well. Both of these are built very well. But like I said before, the perceptual neuron, the fact that the sensor is so small and it's so exposed and um, it just don't have the the shielding necessary to keep it from being interfered with, you know, things that are magnetic, you know, just, I don't know, I don't know that word, just, I just really had a lot of problems with that. All right, so, with that being said, that's the build quality of both, right? The sensors are great as far as operations concerned, right? The, the major concern with any of these suits is usually how do it interpret the data? Because like I said, it comes down to the end of the day, it's software driven. I would say right now, at this point in time, I use both of the newest uh, software with the Perception Neuron and the Roco. And I would say that uh, Perception Neuron is a little bit more advanced in the sense of uh, some of the, the editing software for the, um, for the, uh, the animation. However, Roco Studio still got a beta out, so I don't want to uh, outcast the Roco Studio, but I will say that their... Um, the customer service is amazing. Roco Studio, customer service, anybody will tell you they they are amazing. I mean, I call them up. The guy walked me through it. I changed out the cable. He sent me a couple of cables. I fixed it, one, two, three, and it was working up and moving with no problems at all. Really, really no problems at all. I would say as far as the uh, Perception Neuron, um, I never really had no problems. However, I did mention the software problems. So I will say that software-wise, I have more problems with the Perceptual Neuron than I have with the, the Roco Studio. Very, I didn't have very, I have no, really no problems with the software, except for connectivity. But I figured that I had to get, I figured out the problem was I had to use uh, an independent router for this. That's the only thing with the uh, Roco Studio. You have to get your own router. But the beauty of that is that I could extend the range with the Roco Studio, comparable to the the um, Perceptual Neuron, um, I would say connectivity-wise, I could probably go way further with my Roco Studio than my Perceptual Neuron. So that's an advantage there. Because let me tell you something, the truth of the matter is that you have to, this, I'm telling you now, there's no other way to do this unless you have good connectivity. If you can't connect to these suits well, you're gonna have a lot of problems. Um, the advantage I do see with this particular um, perception neuron is that I can connect this directly into my computer and I can run the suit that way. For Roco Studio to work, technically speaking, it's wireless. So even when you connect it into your computer system, it's not really connecting wired, it's really wireless. You're just updating the software to the suit and then you go ahead and do whatever you need to do. But when it's connectivity, when it's doing, when it's registering the animation, it's totally wireless, not wired. Okay, so basically it's not wired. Whereas this is wired, but this also is wireless as well. You could connect it up, have an external um, uh, connection here, wireless connection, and it will work as well. So the difference, as far as also I want to mention, is the gloves. Like I said before, the gloves are good. They're great. They work. But I'm telling you now, the fingers. Uh, accuracy wasn't really all that great. Uh, I wasn't too happy with that. Um, I did not buy the Roco Studio gloves. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm just being honest with you. And by the way, I run a lot of tests with these. And I don't just, you know, one thing with me is I don't just come out the suit and say, oh, this is what I think about. I run these these tests for months and day, days and days and months before I even give us any type of assessment. And like I said before, I will be giving updates on the assessment as I go along. But the thing with the reason why I didn't buy the gloves for my Roco Studio suit is because the amount of bandwidth and the and just the connectivity, I had I did have a little struggle in getting it connected. Like I said, that we saw the problem was I added external router. Now when I added external router, I had actually no problems no more. But the fact is that the data bandwidth is still, I believe, is still not sufficient or it's the software. It's one or the other. And I believe it's more of the software. It's still not, like I said before, I think they need to take one of the beta products. Like I said, they got the studio beta. And I think they need to um, 
fix that and make it a permanent software and that way we can really see and get a real assessment a true assessment on how great or not great the software is for the Roku Studio. So until that happens, until they give me the best software, I don't feel that the fact that um, the connectivity did not run as smoothly, I want to hold off on getting the gloves until they get that fixed. That's, that's, that's my opinion on it. Because I'm not only, when I do my animation, I'm not just using just the suit, but I have facial also, right? To get the facial expressions. So if I'm doing facial expressions and I'm running the suit, and then I have to use the hand, it's going to look, it's going to, I know for a fact, it's going to get choppy. And I don't want that. So what I normally do is I normally do the movement, the overall movement with the suit. Then I do the facial. And then I do the hands, um, hand animation separately. I got other software and hardware for that. Okay, so I think that was the best way to go about it. So now, the real question is, is versus, right? So the Roku Studio Pro 2 versus the perceptual neuron and i'm going to tell you now from uh, um from my point of view and from what i see so far like i said we'll do updates i would probably still right now go with the roco studio and the main reason is because first of all this suit have excellent i mean i said uh, the company have excellent customer service and you know what at the end of the day if you can't get someone on the phone like i said before i never really had a lot of problems with the Perception I did have a lot of software issues. And the thing I know is this. If you cannot get someone on the phone and call you and, and contact them right away when you have a problem, then that's going to be a problem. More a problem than just having a unit. Because things are going to fail. And that's just a given. Another thing, like I said before, is that the sensor here, another reason why I would pick the Roku Studio is because the sensor here is, is small and it's very susceptible to electromagnetic energy. I mean, it just... It was really, it's really hard to correct the mistakes here. And to me, at the end of the day, even though the software is a little bit better than the Roku Studio, when it comes down to it, though, the truth is, I don't really have to do as much work with the software. Even though it's not as fully developed as, as uh, Perception Neuron, I got to do a lot of work to clean up the animation with the Perception Neuron. And I don't like that. I really, really don't like that. So... That's why I'm picking the Roku Studio over the Perception Neuron. Now, I will show you some animations I've done. Matter of fact, you probably see it all the time. All the animations you see in the beginning of some of my Consumer Labs um, um, intros was done with the Roku Studio, not with the Perception Neuron. And um, when I look back at some of my older footage, I have noticed that the Roku Studio is way, it's just better. It just really is better than uh, Perception Neuron. Like I said, uh, Perception Neuron also make the studio version, but that suit is over $4,000. I'm talking about that's very expensive. And like I said, we try and keep it within a budget of less than $3,000. Well, less than, let's say $2,700. And these two are the ones that qualify for that. Now, if you're going up to, you could get the other one that Perception Neuron makes. It's a smaller version. And I'll show, I'll put up a picture of that later or I'll do another episode. And that one, the problem with that one, and I tell you now, do not get that one, is because if you're making fast movements, it's not going to register. All right? So with that being said, the conclusion is very simple. Like I said before, the SmartSuit Pro 2 versus the Perception Neuron, I'm going to go with the SmartSuit Pro 2. And that's really because of the software is better, the customer service is better. And to be honest with you, the fact that it doesn't slide around is really great. Um, like I said, you could buy the suit now for the Perceptual Neuron, but that's an additional cost. All right, so with that being said, this is Consumer Labs, and we're out.